Hey guys, behind me here is the Signature Iridium 13. It's actually the 13S, uh, our uh, upgraded model with a few extra little features. And what we're actually gonna do is uh, show you a little bit around this camper trailer today. So um, what this is, is a hybrid camper trailer. What a hybrid is, is a cross between a camper trailer and a caravan. What that means is dimensions are a little bit smaller. It sits narrow, which means it's in, within the wheel tracks of your car. Um, but it includes a back, stack of features like an outdoor kitchen, um, really pushes the outdoor living features, but, but comes with a stack of, uh, stack of stuff that makes uh, living in the bush very, very comfortable. So come with me, let's take a look around what the, uh, what the Iridium 13 packs and, um, and we'll, uh, we'll show you why it, why it gives a steady punch. Starters, you gotta check out the storage in this camper trailer. So it's something we're really proud of in the development, but, um, but have a look at it. So you've got full length storage all the way through here with a light, um, which yeah, is just sensational. Then you've got massive fridge slide. So it's an oversized fridge slide, which will easily fit a dual zone 95 litre uh, fridge, uh, fridge freezer. Um, so you can slide that out, get full access to it. Um, comes with uh, obviously ventilation ports and whatnot. So you've got fresh air running through there the whole time. Um, but yeah, massive fridge slide there. So you can fit plenty of, plenty of beer, plenty of wine. So we'll throw that back in. Then we've got up the front, it's a huge amount of toolboxes. So you've got big toolbox on the front here, which again, stacks of stuff. You've got another one on the other side, um, which again is huge. You've got space for two 20 litre jerry cans, two nine kilo gas bottles, and they're all plumbed in through a regulator all the way through to your hot water system in your kitchen and whatnot. Um, and then uh, and then you've got more storage inside. So we'll go through the storage inside when we are, when we actually get in there. But let's, um, let's check out some of the other features of this camper trailer. So down here on the front, you can see we're actually running the McHitch three and a half ton uni glide coupler. Um, this is an awesome bit of kit developed in Lithgow in New South Wales. Um, won a stack of awards, as we've mentioned, and anyone that's seen some of our other videos know that we, um, we love this hitch. We can put any other hitch on it if you like. If you want the Cruise Master DO35, not a problem. If you want a poly block, cool, no dramas whatsoever. Um, we just love this bit of kit. Uh, you've also got your um, breakaway system. Uh, obviously, uh, any trailer over a certain weight needs to carry a breakaway system. What that means is that if the trailer disconnects from the car for any reason whatsoever, that'll engage and will stop the trailer in its tracks. Running a Alco 10 inch jockey wheel, um, which just fits perfectly on this Trek camper trailer. And cool little features, you know, like your uh, little lucky little levels on the drawbar, um, handbrake and, and bits and pieces like that made up, make living with this camper trailer an absolute dream. Okay. Let's have a look at this. So what you've got, big slide here, which, uh, you know, your generator or tool bag, uh, anything else like that. Um, then you've got a couple of massive big slot, um, draw, tool draw slides. So you got two of them, fit all of your stuff in there. Um, you know, power leads, hoses, all that sort of good stuff. You've then got your uh, cassette for your toilet. We've got a full ensuite in here. So this is actually where your cassette lives for your toilet. So it's a Tetford toilet. And if we crack that open, then you can see we've got our canister in there, uh, which is where uh, all, the, um, all, the, all the bad stuff goes. Close that one up. You got your 15 amp site input. So that means when you get to a caravan park or you're at home, you just plug your, uh, plug your power straight into that and all your, your camper's running off 240 volt. You've got a, um, a uh, connection for a TV aerial. So um, just a coaxial connection point right there so you can plug it in because you've got a TV inside as well. Here's your fill point for your water tank. So what you've actually got in this camper is 200 litres of fresh water carrying capacity. 200 litres, which all goes into there. So stick a hose into there, fill your tanks up and you can go off grid for, uh, for as long as you like. Down here, we've actually got mains water pressure connection. So if you go to a caravan park or home or a friend's place, connect up your hose to that uh, and the whole camper trailer will run off mains water, which means you're not using up your fresh water, uh, fresh water tanks. We've got an outdoor shower. Um, they come in absolutely brilliantly. Go to the beach, uh, anywhere where you're getting a little bit dirty, go and explore some of your, uh, your off-road tracks and you, you need to wash yourself off. Whip that out and uh, give yourself a quick clean off without messing up the inside shower. So hot and cold water. Over here, we've got the outlet for our Truma hot water system. So this has got a full hot water system uh, built into it, which I'll run a little bit more into that when we go over to the kitchen. I'll tell you how that little system works. Um, and then we've got uh, underneath is also an 80 litre grey water tank. So your shower and your sink uh, all run to an 80 litre grey water tank, which is all up underneath the body of the camper trailer. So let's, uh, let's go and have a look at some of the electrics, then we'll duck around, show you the kitchen, and then finally inside. Welcome to the electrical cabinet. So guys, what we've got in here is three 100 amp hour batteries. So that's 300 amp hours of battery power. You've got a 2000 watt inverter, 30 amp 240 volt charger. You've got a breakaway system, which has its own independent battery, uh, full, um, full breaker switches, so 240 volt breaker switches, plus all of your bits and pieces that you need to, um, to reset all of your 12 volt. Um, and 
obvious enough room for uh, for those in the doghouse to um to know that you've got uh, got somewhere to sleep as well. So the great things about hybrids is uh, is they're very off-road uh, orientated, which means they can pretty much go uh, go anywhere, any of those really cool national park locations that you want to visit. The ways that we do that is actually getting everything up high underneath and shortening the whole length of the van. So feature of this is that it actually folds out. So this has got a huge fold out section for the rear, which is where your bed extends out to. You've got two spare wheels. You've got rear bar at the back with a 50 mil hitch, which means that you can actually stick a bike rack on the back of it as well. Um, you've got uh, tie down points at the back, your gas, gas point and a full off-road suspension setup. Twin uh, independent swing arms with twin shocks on either swing arms. And finally, the uh, the absolute, the heart of any uh, any home or any camper trailer is obviously the kitchen, uh, kitchen quarter. So what you've got is a full gourmet kitchen in this setup. Up. So what you have is a four burner, uh, four burner AGA uh, cast iron cooker, um, uh, which you know, put your meat, your veg, uh, anything on bacon, eggs, uh, she, she absolutely gold. You've got a massive cutlery drawer, which got a couple of bits and pieces in there, but good luck filling that baby up. You've got another drawer here, which at the moment we've got a stack of brochures in, brochures which you can download from our website at www.signaturecampertrails.com.au. Um, so that's all in there. You've also then got uh, massive sink, so sink lifts up with a mixer tap on it. You've got a dish rack in here as well. Um, a drying rack, you've got light there, light there. You've got outdoor speakers out here as well, which are isolated, so you can actually turn those outdoor speakers off when you don't want to disrupt your camp, uh, your neighbors. Or if you do want to disrupt your neighbors on, whack your, uh, whack your favorite 90s tune on and, and get cranking. You've then got your control panel down here, which has water levels, gray water uh, tank levels, as well as uh, a couple of light switches, breaker switches, 12 volt six sockets, and then finally your water connection. So. The way that the water works, and we were going to talk about that when we got around here, is you've actually got a Truma gas electric uh, ultra rapid hot water system. How that works is when you connect it up to 240 volt power, is that your hot water system will work off that 240 volt power. As soon as you go off the grid, flick a switch inside, and that hot water system will work off gas, which means no matter where you are, you've always got instantaneous hot water, and that hot water runs through to the kitchen, the shower outside, your uh, sink inside, as well as uh, your shower inside. So um, hot water everywhere, and it cannot be simpler. So um, yeah, we absolutely love this kitchen. You've got a, got a little slide out, slide out table here, uh, which you can put your beer, uh, beer, wine, um, or use it as a prep area if you're actually making some food. You've got a fold down table here, which we've actually just stuck a TV onto. Um, so you've got fold down table there, which is more workspace, uh, another power point, 240 volt power point, and a little pantry set up for all your goodies. So yeah, heaps more storage, uh, more storage in your face stick at. So you would have noticed while we were talking that I was standing under our, um, our nice little awning. Well, it's actually a full electric awning with a manual override. So if all else fails, you can override it in. But all you gotta do is press a button and the whole thing folds out, drop the legs down and, um, and you're good to go. It comes included for free now uh, with uh, all of your walls. So this actually becomes a fully enclosed space. So you get a wall here, wall along the front, uh, wall down there, wall skirt along the edge and a floor as well. So you can actually close this in. Um, and you go, if you've got a couple of kids and you wanna throw um, throw some uh, some blow up mattresses down, well, you've got plenty of space inside here to, um, here to put them as well. So you don't need a massive van to house all the kids. You can do it in a 13 footer. So guys, I mentioned that this was actually an S model, so a 13S. Well, what does that mean? You've got 300 watts of solar panels sitting up, sitting up there on the roof, which means as soon as the sun pops out of the morning, um, you're already charging the van up. So let's go and have a look inside where, um, where uh, all the luxury lives. So for starters, you've actually got a fly screen door here. So that separates from the main door, which means that um, you can have some nice fresh air rolling through and still, uh, still be able to close yourself off. But we'll crack that open and we'll go and have a look. So you have got a massive bed in here. So this is a full, over, we call it an oversized queen bed. The reason we do that is because it's actually bigger than a queen bed, not quite the size of a king bed, um, but yeah, massive amount of space uh, and north, north south facing, which means that you actually put your head up there, which means if you need to get out of bed, you're not trying to roll over the other half uh, just to get out, just to go to the loo in the middle of the night or whatnot. Um, so you can basically slide into bed and not disrupt the other, the other half that's, that's sleeping. Uh, you've got all sorts of power points and, and, and uh, auxiliary points. So you can add in, you know, 240 volts. There's um, 12 volt sockets here. You've got stacks more storage and I could keep going on with the storage, but you've got storage pockets here. You've got a lockable storage cabinet down here, which is where you can hide all of your valuables and lock them all up. Um, you've got a shelf up there to put your books and whatnot into. You've got space beside the bed. You've got reading lights everywhere. So you've got lights up there. You've got lights along the sides of the walls. Um, obviously stack of lights on the roof. They're all dimmable, so all you got to do is actually press this, press the um, button on the light, and they'll dim down, so you can get a bit of mood light going if that's your uh, if that's your thing. 
you've got seating area, more storage underneath the seating area, more storage underneath the bed. Uh, up the front there, which we'll run through in a minute, is even more storage. Plus, you've got a full, um, full cupboard in here with hanging space um, and a stack of shelves to, um, to fit all your goodies. So for a fan this, fan this small, you, um, you can bring so much stuff with you. So what we've got up here is our aircon system. So this is actually a Horton Bell Air 2400. It's a full reverse cycle air conditioning system. Um, uh, the importance of that is that uh, in a lot of vans these days, you're not getting a full reverse cycle air conditioning system. So um, if you are looking around, make sure you check into that because um, uh, because the, the how much power it draws um, and whether it's got full reverse cycle functionality will actually determine how efficient it is and how good it is at heating and, and cooling um, in cooling your van. Um, this is completely oversized for this size uh, this size van, um, but it means it works an absolute treat. Um, in terms of what other air conditioning have you got, well, look at all the windows that open up all the way around. So you've got full 360 degree breeze that can run through with all of these. Once you pop it up, you can open, roll open um, all of these windows, uh, which gives you a stack of light and a stack of fresh air. I've got to show you the ensuite. So not many people actually realize there's a full ensuite set up in here. So if we click this open, come and check this out. You have hot and cold shower, uh, which is a fully um, sealed room. You've got uh, obviously holder up there so you can actually get your shower head nice and high above you. You have a shower screen here that actually drops down, which um, which you can sort of use to stop the, rain, the water from um, coming out into the van. Otherwise you just you just zip her up. Uh, you've got a fan in there to get all of the steam and whatnot out and massive toilet, so a huge amount of space in there. Um, yeah, you, you won't run over, you won't be uncomfortable in there, that's for certain. So what's at the front? Well, it's just more storage. Can't stop talking about the storage in this thing. So you've got cupboards up here, which run all the way through. So if I open that up and that up, and you've got doors here as well, massive cupboard space in there. You've got light up here, uh, more storage down here. You've got a couple of speakers, indoor speakers as well. So you crack them open, huge amount more storage space underneath there. You've got another cupboard in here, which runs all the way through, which got all your keys on at the moment. Got all your power switches, got a CD player, which is CD, um, USB, Bluetooth, um, FM radio, bits and pieces like that. Uh, and what's really cool under here, you got a full sink. So you can basically use this as a mini kitchen setup. So you can put your kettle here, um, use it for, you know, obviously you're brushing your teeth and, and shaving and all that sort of jazz. But yeah, massive amount of space, hugely usable area, which if you don't need it, close it back up and you've got to stack more bench space all set up here. So guys, there is so much more about this van that we haven't covered off. There's just too much to list, but you need to come and check it out. So just to run through, we've got 200 litres of fresh water comparing capacity, an 80 litre grey water tank. You've got three 100 amp hour batteries, so that's 300 amp hours of battery power, an Alco 10 inch jockey wheel, four burner gas cooker, um, uh, which is a cast iron gas cooker. You've got three and a half tonne McHitch coupling. You've got a 2000 watt inverter, fully electric awning with the enclosed annex all the way around it. Uh, four alloy wheels with mud terrain tyres. You've got your Truma gas electric hot water system. The list absolutely goes on. Um, it's all included as part of the price. So um, you can't beat it. Uh, you literally cannot beat it. So make sure you come and check us out at signaturecamptrailers.com.au or come and visit one of our uh, one of our showrooms. So we're obviously in Sydney. We've got Western Australia, South Australia. Um, anyone's there is happy to help you and, um, and give them a call. Uh, let them know what you're looking for and we'll see what we can do for you. So thanks very much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll, um, we'll see you on the next one.